the season is a programme with the fantastic French soprano Sandrine Peel, uh, who's one of my favourite singers. I've never worked with her before, I hugely admire her work. One of the things that I always think of in terms of Mozart and singers and singing is Mozart's description of how he would write his music to fit a particular singer like a glove. And for me, it's, it's a, a strand of our programming that I'm really starting to get very interested in. That's the very first time that I'm working with a classical opera. So it's always something very exciting. Yeah, the first uh, feeling is really, really good. I think actually um, I knew some people from the orchestra and um, the sound uh, is very, it's what, what I really love, lightful and with the energy and this um, very typical Baroque, uh, fresh sound that I really love. So for the for the program with Sondrine, I'd it, it was an attempt to come up with a, a very diverse program that that as much as I would have wished fitted the singer like a glove. Um, the idea is, is that the overview is, is a very organic um, journey, but a, a, a journey with, with endless permutations. Um, and hopefully by the end of the concert, people will feel they've got to know Mozart better and that they've got to know some room better. <laughs> It's not so usual, and I discovered some pieces, for example, this uh, 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 Mozart version of, of mm. Handel's uh, um, pieces, so uh, it's... Uh, mm. They're new for me too, yeah. and they're beautiful, amazing. And very unknown, finally, even if you're in this music, so it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. It's always very interesting that people can hear this this music uh, so rich, so beautiful. Well, I'm thinking about Aspasia, for example. Just to it's difficult. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult, but emotional too. And there is really beautiful pieces in in, in this uh, young Mozart. Just sometimes it's in an enormous opera, and when you just take one aria, people can discover that it's like a, a bijou, you know, just like. A, I don't know the name. Yeah, Jewel. <laughs> Jewel, thank you. We have to keep something very strong in every room, that, uh, every hall. It can be enormous or small. And, but of course, the Wigmore Hall, when you say chamber music, for me that's the point. And with this orchestra, uh, which is small for Mozart, it's a chamber version, it's, uh, it will be very nice to, to, to just communicate, to be together, and to have a real contact with every instrumentist. Mo 
Mozart is of course one of the most famous and celebrated composers in history, but so much of his, particularly his early writing, we, we just don't know and very few people perform it. And, and I think it's, it's great to have, from our point of view, it's a gift in a way, you know, it, this music really should be being performed by a lot more people. Actually in this concert I think it's more uh, musicologic too, and we just propose to everybody to, to join us. And, and I think it's something really friendly and chamber music together. And I, I love that. And the Wigmore Hall is, of course, absolutely perfect for this kind of uh, conception. Oh, <laughs> 